What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to route the Android 5.0 preview build on a Nexus 5 or Nexus 7. With new security enhancements, rooting Lollipop will be a bit different than it has been in the past. But SuperSU developer Chainfire has already put in a lot of work, and the rooting process is still pretty simple as a result. So to get started, you'll need to enable USB debugging on your device. The process here is the same as it was on KitKat and older builds. Head to Settings, then scroll all the way down to the bottom and select About Phone or About Tablet. From here, scroll down to the bottom again and tap the build number entry seven times in rapid succession. This will unlock a new Developer Options menu, so back out one level and head in there. In this menu, tick the box next to USB Debugging, then press OK on the pop-up. When you're done with that, connect your Nexus to a Windows PC using a good quality USB cable. After you do, you should see this message on your Nexus. Here, just tick the box next to Always Allow from this computer, then press OK. And don't worry if this message doesn't show up right away. Just keep an eye out for it. But with all that stuff taken care of, the actual routing will be done using the Nexus Root Toolkit. If you followed my guide to install the Android 5.0 preview build in the first place, you should already have this program on your PC. But if not, you can download it from wugfresh.com slash nrt. And I have a link for that over at the full tutorial, which can be found in the description below this video. But anyway, go ahead and launch Nexus Root Toolkit at this point. Webfresh just released a new version that supports Android 5.0, so chances are your version will need to be updated. So go ahead and click OK on this message and let NRT update itself to the latest version. When it's done with that, the toolkit will ask you what device you have and what Android version it's running. So select your device from this menu up top. Then if you're not sure what Android version you're running, refer back to that build number and settings that you tapped seven times. And once you hit apply here, NRT will inform you that you need to have USB debugging enabled on your device, which we've already done. But if you didn't get that allow USB debugging message when you first plugged your device into your PC, now would be a good time to check your phone or tablet to see if it came up. After that, NRT will ask to download some extra files. Go ahead and click the download plus update button here. When that's done, you'll be taken to the Nexus Root Toolkit's main screen. If you haven't used this program in the past, the first thing you should do is go through the full driver installation guide with the button right up top. But assuming you've already done that, the next step is to determine whether or not your device's bootloader is unlocked. To do that, simply reboot your phone, then look for an unlocked icon at the bottom of the screen when the Google logo is showing. If you have that little icon, which looks like an open lock, your bootloader is unlocked and you can skip this next step. But if not, you'll need to unlock your bootloader before going any further. That can be done by clicking this unlock button right here in the middle of the screen. Be warned though, this process will wipe your device, so make sure you have any sensitive data backed up. So to confirm your selection here, click OK and then Yes. Give the toolkit a few minutes to unlock your bootloader, then when it's finished, you'll see this message. Like it says, you'll have to enable USB debugging on your Nexus again, but once you've done that, you're ready to root. NRT makes this part pretty simple. This button near the bottom of the window is all you need, but you can also take this time to install a custom recovery if you'd like. A custom recovery will let you make full backups of your system, and even install flashable zips and other mods, so that's definitely something to consider. But when you're ready, just click the root button. After that, go ahead and click OK on this next message. This part of the process should take a few minutes, and when it's done, you'll see this message. Basically, it's telling you that it temporarily booted TWRP recovery, and to complete the rooting process, you'll have to flash a couple of files on your Nexus manually. So let me show you how that part works. Over on your Nexus, you should see this screen now. Go ahead and tap Install here. Then from there, head to the Ready to Flash folder on your SD card, then open the Root Files folder inside of it. On this next screen, select the Update SuperSU.zip file, then swipe the slider at the bottom of the screen to install it. From here, tap the Back button, then select the busybox.zip file. Again, swipe the slider at the bottom to install it. And when it's finished, tap the reboot system button. Now back on the PC, you can go ahead and click OK on that last message. Give it just a little while longer to wrap things up. Then it'll tell you that the automated rooting procedure is complete. At this point, it's safe to close Nexus Root Toolkit and disconnect your device from the PC. Your Nexus should now be rooted, so give it a second to finish booting up and I'll show you how to verify that. Okay, so to make sure the rooting process took, go ahead and download Root Checker from the Play Store. With this app, all you have to do is open it, then close out a couple of messages, and press Verify Root. 
It'll ask for super user access at this point, so hit grant on the pop-up. Then when you see this congratulations message, you'll know that you're rooted. So we now have Lollipop and Root. What more could you ask for? But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article at the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.